One, two, three, four. doing well there. I apologize that I haven't posted a video in a long time. I know if you guys watched um, my other previous video I talked about how I was really busy with school and some of the music concerts that I was playing and stuff. But nonetheless, I haven't been ignoring your comments. I have been seeing all of them. I'm going to start getting back into the flow of uh, doing videos and what better off than to do a hippocampus song. I actually had uh, the chance to do a hippocampus song in one of my cover bands at uh, my my uh, college here, so that was a lot of fun. We did a cover of uh, South. Uh, anyway, but this is uh, this is going to be a lesson here for Violet. A really simple song. Uh, this video that I'm going to do, I'm only going to show the um, the rhythm and the little lead rhythm part as well. If you guys want me to do a separate video on individual licks and stuff, I can do that as well. But I figured I'd do this um, first because the song is pretty simple. So I'm going to zoom in on the neck and uh, I'll break it down for you guys. Okay guys, I'm going to show you the main uh, rhythm here. It's it's honestly a pretty simple song. It's all based on one chord, which is pretty amazing in my opinion that uh, they could write a song that was based with one harmony. Uh, the chord is a little bit of a jazz voicing, uh, but if you can get past that, then you can play the entire song. If you guys want me to do a separate video on all the leads, um, we can do that as well, or I could I can make a video for that. I just figured that I would show the rhythm part first because it's very easy. I didn't want to spend all this time with all the leads and stuff, but I uh, can teach that video separately if you guys would like me to. Um, I do have all my effects turned off. I had all the effects on in the uh, intro here, but if you guys want to get to the sound, you want to put reverb and a little bit of delay on. Hippocampus has a tendency to use a lot of reverb and delay. I do have my tone turned back a little bit on my uh, Strat here so I can kind of get that jazz tone. <laughs> So you kind of want to do that so you can get a jazz tone here because it's kind of a it's a it's really based kind of like on a jazz. Um, anyway, the first chord or the only chord is going to be an E major nine chord. If you don't have any experience with this chord, it's kind of similar to an E major seventh, but we're going to add the ninth. If you don't know what that means, don't worry about it. Anyway, I'll show you the chord shape here. This is an E major 9. We're going to find our root on the A string, that 7th fret. We're going to grab that with our middle finger. That's the E note, the root of the chord. Now I'm going to take my first finger and I'm going to put that over on the 6th fret of the D string. And then I'm going to take my ring finger and I'm going to tuck it underneath and I'm going to grab the B string on that 7th fret as well. And then I'm going to grab with my pinky on the 8th fret of the G string. And that's the shape right there. Like that. E major 9. This is the chord of the whole song. And the rhythm is kind of like this. Now if you guys have uh, familiar, familiarized yourself with the song, you know that uh, there's a lot of drum leads in there, and there's a lot of uh, vocal harmony that doesn't have um, sing or doesn't have actual chords playing. So there's a bunch of drum fills, and then there is the actual singing. But for this part, that's basically essentially the whole uh, rhythm part. So you have this E major nine. going to do here is we're going to slide all the way up here on the 16th fret. I know it's kind of tight. Let's see if I can get a little closer for you guys. Uh, there we go. So I'm going to put my first finger and what we're going to do here is we're essentially we're just playing octaves. And what we're going to have here is we're going to have a C sharp note all the way up on the 16th fret of the A string. And then I'm going to play the octave of C sharp which is going to be on the 18th fret of the G string. And 
we're going to mute all the rest of the strings. So I put my middle finger on that E string to mute that. And then I put the, my first finger to lay over the rest of the strings. I only want those octaves to ring out. So, so far. And then I, what I'm going to do next is I'm going to move this shape down, keep the fingers in the same spot. But my first finger is going to go to 11, which is going to be a G sharp note on the eighth, eighth fret. Or I'm sorry, on the A string of the 11th fret. And then my ring finger is going to go on the 13th fret of the G string. Those are octaves again. And we're going to mute the rest of it too. So now. Then there's this part. This is going to be on the and of four. And I'm going to slide back. And what we're doing there is we're doing the same thing with the oct octave concept, but I'm, now I'm going down to the ninth fret of the A string, F sharp note. Grab the octave F sharp note, which is going to be on the eleventh of the G string, and I'm going to slide back up to that shape that I had before with the G sharps. So here, where I'm going to be on 16 and 18, 11 and 13, 9 and 11, and then back to 11 and 13. So all together, E major 9, Essentially that is all there is to the rhythm part. Like I said, there's a bunch of leads that are happening. But I can make a separate video on that. Like I said, I, I just wanted to show you guys the main rhythm. So if you're an acoustic strummer, uh, you can play this by yourself. Or, you know, if you just want to, you know, comp to it and, you know, kind of, you know, have some fun with it. It's just that E major 9. All right, you guys, that was the video, so I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, if you guys want me to do the leads for it, I would be interested in doing that. Just let me know in the comments. I can break down all the leads for you. It's a great song, so I hope you guys enjoy, and I'll see you in the next lesson.